Hi everyone, it's Kat from How to Draw Cool Stuff, and today we are going to create this cool jellyfish using warm and cool colors, watercolor, and oil pastel. To start off, I'm going to use some thick cardstock paper. It's pretty thick. If you have watercolor paper handy, that's even better. And we're going to just draw the shape of our jellyfish. I like to start in pencil first, but sometimes you can't see it on video, so I'm just going to go for it and make sort of an ovaly shape for the base or the bell, if you will. Some sort of thick, stocky tentacles coming out of the center. Some smaller, longer, curlier ones throughout. Vary the size. Have some long, some short. Keeps it interesting. Maybe make a pattern on your jelly. And make sure you press somewhat hard because this white is going to resist any watercolor that we put on top of it. So then we're going to get out a palette. These are pan watercolors. You need to activate them with water. So I'm going to put a little dot of water in the colors I'm going to use, the warm colors I'm using. The warm colors are going to contrast nicely with cool colors, otherwise known as complementary colors or opposites. So the opposite of this shade of green would be this shade of magenta. The opposite of this shade of green would be a red. So it's basically using opposite colors or warm against cool, which creates a nice contrast, makes interest happening in your artwork and attractive to the eye. So I'm going to block in some colors using my warm palette. A little orange, a little purple, a little bit of yellow. Brown is also a warm color. Maybe I'll do some brown underneath. And see how the crayon or the pastel is pushing away, resisting the paint? It will do this to a certain extent. If you go over it and over it, sometimes it won't resist. But a quick pass like I'm doing is going to resist it just ni nicely. Then go ahead and draw over your tentacles. This part will take a little bit more finesse because you're being a little more precise. Make sure you do have space between your tentacles too. It's much more interesting than as if there's one whole huge mass of tentacles. But all that detail that you did will be resisted, pushed away by the pastel. So the detail of your drawing will stick through rather. And I'm just going to quickly fill in this area. And that is the jelly part. That is the warm part of my project. Now we're going to do the cool colors. So I'm going to get a larger brush for this. I will continue to use my small brush in between these areas, and I would like for this to dry first, but for the sake of this video and me not having to edit it, I'm just gonna go right for it and activate my blue colors. So I'm gonna put some cool shades of blue, some cool shades of green, and I'm just going to do a section at a time because while it's wet, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little sprinkle of salt. Got to do it while it's wet. If you wait till it's dry, it will not work. Notice how the paint is sort of sucking up, or the salt rather is sucking up the paint. It appears to be a little bit darker. Eventually, that's going to be repelled and push it away and create a really pretty sparkle. So I'm gonna continue moving on to my next area. Some cool colors. Greens, blues. And before this dries, I want to get in there with my sprinkle. Get my sprinkle on. Keep on moving. C 
see how that jelly is already starting to pop? The nice warm colors are already contrasting nicely with the cool color of the ocean that we're creating for the background. And you could always do a couple jellies too. If you have an extra room, you wanna do a little small friend or a little baby jelly. That would be really cute too. Again, getting in there while it's wet with my sprinkle. When we get to the inside, I'm gonna have to get to that small brush and just do sections at a time. Try not to get any of this salt on your brush, by the way, because it will get back into your paint set and then therefore your paint set will have some salt in it. We don't want that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And I'm just taking my fingers back and forth and just kind of going like this, getting a nice even spread. And since my jellyfish is still wet, I'm avoiding those tentacle areas extra carefully. I wouldn't have to be extra careful if it weren't, if it were wet. See how it's bleeding a little bit? That's all right though. Tis what it is. Still gonna be beautiful. We're gonna make it part of the art. Getting in there with my small brush. Before that dries, get in there. We're almost done. Coming into home stretch. And see how I'm mixing up my colors? One color is flat and boring. Many colors is interesting and cute. Let's sprinkle, sprinkle. And already, you're starting to see a little bit of that sparkle happen here. Usually it takes about 15 minutes or so to see the full effects of this, but this is already starting to dry and you can see by my left hand area, this is already starting to do a little bit of that sparkle. A little bit of bleeding happening there. Satites, we're working with it. And we'll finish it up. So the key here is to get it quickly. Get in there quickly while the water is wet and pooling on the paper. So this is gonna take a few minutes to finally set and be perfected. But like I said, you can already see some of these little resistant spots so you've got the resist of the wax from the pastel. You have the resist from this salt to make one really cool project focusing on warm and cool colors or complementary colors. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, how to draw a super fast jellyfish using watercolor, oil pastel, and salt. Please join me again real soon on how to draw cool stuff.